Well, usually we would have been in the middle of race week in Indianapolis. Instead, the Indianapolis 500 is currently set for August 23rd in this year of the pandemic. And our trackside analyst Tony Kanan is also in charge of the Drivers Association as they work towards a return to racing. And he had a message as he hit IndyCar's social media today. Call it Tony's takeover. Dave First was there too in the Sports Extra Spotlight. This isn't the way the track was supposed to look on May 20th, in the middle of race week at the world's greatest race course. This isn't what IndyCar's Facebook page was expected to look like either. You have Carb Day. An AJ Foyt Racing takeover during this pandemic era, including 2013 Indy champ Tony Kanaan on Facebook Live, reminiscing a bit. I inevitably find myself going, okay, Monday I would have been doing this, Tuesday I'd be. I'm not that nostalgic about that it's not happening this weekend because I'm still like, it's going to happen. So I got to, you know, all these things that I'm missing or not missing, it's going to happen in three months from now. And that's why back in the Foyt Racing Shop in Speedway, the work continues to get race cars ready, turning a wrench here, placing a wrap there, all under the banner of Super Tex. As the Facebook questions continue. How impressed are you by the popularity that AJ Foyt, your boss, still has amongst older and newer generation fans? Best of luck this season. It sure would be great to see you and AJ win the 500 together. That'd be a very popular victory. Yes, it would. That, that would be good. Um, it looks like the guy never lost his fan base. I mean, you can barely walk into our garages every day because it's packed. People are in there because you guys have the best ice cream in the garage. And hot dogs. And hot dogs. And hot dogs. That's correct. And a few questions about what happened just seven years ago and getting back to sip the milk a second time. What did you say when you crossed the finish line in the Indy 500 in 2013 as the winner? When I crossed the finish line, I was pointing up and I was just telling Dad, I told you I was going to do this one day. I told you, I told you, I told you. We're going to have to do the math. The takeover was a moment for the fans who undoubtedly can't wait to see the drivers and cars again with their own eyes. It's about getting back on track. I have my new shirt. Look at that. We're back, we're back on track. Ready to go. I can assure you fans that we're working and thinking every day how we can bring you guys back somehow, somewhere, because this is what IndyCar is all about. And ultimately, it doesn't get any more real than that. Day first, RTV Six Sports.